天草それ切ってくれるおっとそれは失礼エムザッキーはお嫌いで今が気分じゃないだけ Amakusa turned the radio off. The world of cheery sounds was immediately swallowed up by the roar of the sea and blotted out by the ocean's gray. Mirukai, Ano Henga Toji no Hunaskibada. The boat captain pointed, but I couldn't really recall the scene of 12 years ago. I thought I'd surely be able to immediately remember how things had been at the time, but no memories came back to me. After that incident, the island was sealed off and left to the wild. I couldn't satisfy myself with the thought that this was just inevitable, it felt, and it felt sad and painful for some reason. Ah, but I re at least remember one thing. I might say it'd probably be the same anywhere on the sea, but I remember at least one thing. The cries of the seagulls. I do remember those. When I was young, I rarely went to the ocean. So everything that symbolized the ocean meant Rokunjima and a family gathering to me. In short, it was a symbol for happiness of going out with my family. However, at this point in time, it seems doubtful whether that was even happiness. In my younger days, the trip had felt like a relaxed family vacation, but considering my parents' situation at the time, it was surely a very difficult trip to handle, with the distribution of the inheritance filling the place of, with the small smell of gunpowder. I can remember giggling all over the place, completely ignorant of my parents' feelings. Amakusa in an attempt to speak for my innermost feelings tried to sound cool. The boat slowly rounded the island. I hope that viewing at a different angle might bring back my memories of the island's silhouette at the time of j just a little. But in the end, even when the inlet was hidden completely by cliffs, I wasn't able to remember anything. Senjo. さっきのもう一つの船着き場の話を聞かせてください。うん。六軒島には船着き場は一つしかないことになっとる。だがそれは表向きだ。島裏のもう一つの隠された船着き場、六軒島そのものね。誰も知らない二つ目のもう一つの
一度も見たことはない20年ヒューってことは最低でも年齢プラス20ってわけだこりゃマドモアゼルは期待できねえなだがクアドリアンへの出入りはある日を境にぷっつりとなくなっちまった今からだいたい30年前だから昭和43年頃だったと思うぷっつりと突然食料やゴミなどの運搬往来でわしらは決められた日程で裏に行っとったああ裏っちゅうのはクワドリアン側の船着き場のことだわかりますそれである日源次さんから急な連絡があった別の指示があるまで裏には行かなくていいって言うんだ別の指示とは特にはなかった早い話がある日突然裏には今後定期便はいらない食料も届けなくていいと言われたわけだわしは最初クビにされたのかと思ったよだがすぐに気づいたそれにクワドリアンのことを知る使用人たちの様子からもなんとなく察しがついたベアトリーチェが死んで食料を届ける必要も世話人を送る必要もなくなったわしはそう考えとるそれっきり裏へ船を出せという指示は受けてないしかし裏については死ぬまで何も喋るなとその後源次さんが直接わしのところへ来てえらく強く念を押したその20年間も放置されていた隠し屋敷にどうしてエヴァおばさんが On that day 12 years ago, Bushir Mia Eva somehow escaped from harm alone in a hidden mansion two kilometers away from the mansion. Why was she in a hidden mansion that had been forgotten for 20 years? Why do you see it? 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 ロで行くことは不可能だったのかしらもしも話し通りに未開の密林だとしたらおめかしした奥様風情に踏破できるもんじゃありませんぜじゃあカイロモーターボートみたいなものがあったとかまさかあの二晩の台風はそりゃひどいもんだった船なんぞ使えるわけもないじゃあ屋敷とクアドリアンを直通する例えば地下通路のようなものがあったとか愛人の家へ出入りするのに毎回船の用立てが必要なんて面倒でしょ全長 2km の六軒島の対角線上に存在する屋敷をつなぐためにそんだけの長い地下トンネルをとバカにしてえところだが。愛人のために隠し屋敷まで作っちまう大富豪だそれも否定できんところですなどうなんですか船長わしは海の人間だ穴のことは分からんだが硫黄島で旧日本軍は2 5キロのトンネルを掘ってみせたぞあの金蔵さんなら2キロくらい掘ってみせてもわしは何も驚かんやっぱりおかしな島ね私たちはこの島のことを未だ誰一人何も知らないボートリッチのショーレイウォンハフトワークショーウェイズリッチマンションわしはここで待っている屋敷は向こうだ当時の道が残っているだろうが草木で覆われてしまってるはずだ迷わんように気をつけてなほんじゃ行きましょうかねありがとう天草あんたもここで待っててまあそう言い出すんじゃないかと思ってましたぜ届け物をするだけよあなたが一緒だと向こうが迷惑するのあんたの毒素
強そうだから毒素はてすぐに戻るわ今日の本命はクアドリアンの方だもの届け物をしたらすぐに戻ってくるわエンジプラーンのナプサック holding the flowers he would offer さしてやれ若いの行ってこいお嬢ちゃんあんたの家族が待っているあんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。あんたの家族が待っている。At the time, I had been threatened into staying away from the forest because a witch lived there. Of course, that fear is gone now, but I feel it. Because I was me, I could feel the presence, like an aura, of the Golden Witch Beatrice. Here and there were massive fallen lumps of rock along with the golden, overgrown trees and ivy. And the voices of birds and bugs. Yeah, I feel it. I feel that the witch is here. A head and ivy covered construction site fence and warning sign stood. No entry, Tokyo Metropolis. It was written in on it. Yeah, that's right. When you think Tokyo, you tend to think of the city. But Rokujima is also located within the Tokyo Metropolis. Apologizing to the sign for my rude mistake, I climbed the fence. When I crossed the steep slope beyond that, my field of vision rapidly expanded. And a fresh sea breeze blew through my hair. It was like at the top of a little hill. Below me was a vast view of the sea. I could only see the desolated forest and rock walls spread out below me. But I realized that the mansion was probably somewhere around there. The steep downward slope beyond this hill was probably had been ca caused by the earth and rocks collapsing from 12 years ago, years of wind and rain. It had become a slant filled with crags that you might even call gentle cliffs. And it would be easy to tumble down, though it looked like climbing back would be pretty difficult. In any event, it seemed that proceeding any further would be impossible. If I continued any further, I wouldn't be able to return. In other words, this is the border. This place is 1986 and 1998, and it is the day and today. The boundary between this world and Nirvana. This is the end of If the strong winds blew Mammon's and Sakatara's hair, I looked down, they looked down from the hilltop. We won't be able to come back. Is that it? I see. This is 1998, and I am the Ushumiya Enji who has been left all alone. At first, this was a journey to die, but not anymore. It's become a journey to accomplish something. うん。だからごめんね。二人とも。あの日の私なら何も戸惑わずにこの崖を降りるだろうけれど。ビルの屋上から飛び降りた後ろ宮エンジが情けない。ごめんね。ここでも同じだよ。Sakatara said it as though it was completely natural. And I believed it. Dad, Mom, Onichan, all of my relatives and those fun servants, and Maria and Nechan. When I started my journey to expose the past of 12 years ago, my goal had been abstract and I hadn't understood. But now, I have no doubts. This journey was induced by several thoughts of fates over 12 years. A journey to reach an end for me, Ushumiya Enji. And a journey to reach the end of, as the last witch of, the, of Mariage Saucier. I came here as the last daughter of the Ushumiya family. 
and as the last witch. Strong Tailwind urges me on. That Tailwind took just my soul out of, from inside my body to the vast forest beneath me. And through here on the... Through from here on I couldn't see. I believe that it flew me to the mansion on that day. To where everyone was. To where Maria and Nechan was. And so, even though my body was at the top of the hill, a strong wind was blowing against me, and my soul was now certainly dancing through that sky. The vast, vast sky of Rokunjima. Below me was the green of many trees. But I understand. I can comprehend the presence of my family and relatives, and all the servants. And Maria Onechan too. I could even comprehend Maria Onechan as a witch. It was vast. More so than any space I had imagined up until now. Maria Onechan, you hear me? caught out to the Maria of that day. She told her of a long journey she had undergone, of her long delayed realization of just how much she'd wounded Maria in her youth. She understood magic, and now understood everything about the world Maria wanted to show her. It was very warm, overflowing with love and happiness. She wanted to become even happier by sharing that world. But I trampled it. だから私、今こそ全部理解したの。魔法を理解した。私たちの魔法はきっととても囁かで身近に溢れてる。でもそれは誰の目にも見えるものではないのよ。魔法とは、ええ、はっきり言えるわ。Without love, it cannot be seen. Sorry, Onei-chan. I've already been excommunicated from the Alliance of Witches. But now, I understand how wonderful it is. And, I know that after the day I wounded you, Maria Sosie was transfigured into something different from what you truly desired. Even the magic that spat anger by cursing people was probably important to Onei-chan in those days. Onei-chan's environment was sad enough to permit that. The grimoire was in my hands before I realized it. The strong winds were rapidly blowing its pages one after another. That world had been kind in the beginning. How could you give birth to magic that would make candy fall from the sky? How could you give birth to the to a magic that would make tomorrow's dinners cream croquet? How could you give birth to a magic that would make the weather good when you went out the next day, making your whole day fun? New spells of happiness were created one after another, coloring her world with kindness. Those days were flipped through one after another, and months began to flash by. The pages with drawings that had once been colorful gradually began to change to a color of black ink. Eerie magic circles and demon summonings. Evil magic for harming people. How could you give birth to a magic that would cause the class bully to catch a cold? How could you give ma birth to a magic that would seriously injure someone in class so that they would died? How could you give birth to a magic that would cause a busload with all the bullies to fall off a cliff? Malicious spells were created one after another, burying the pages in her heart. <laughs> こんなになってしまった。お姉ちゃんは黒き邪悪な魔女じゃない。白き無垢で無邪気な優しい魔女だったのよ。私が元に戻してあげる。元のみんなを幸せにする魔法を世界中に振りまいていた。マリアお姉
could hear the sound of gravel being stepped on. I listened to those footsteps, surprised at this miracle. Without a doubt, those were Maria and Nechan's footsteps. <laughs> Before I knew it, Aunt Kasumi in her black suits, a total of seven people who didn't re resemble Maria and Nechan e even in the slightest, were standing there, surrounding me. And I felt like my voice had been just about to reach Maria and Nechan too. Because of these guys' toxin, that magic was cut off. Angie clicked her tongue like that, but Kasumi probably didn't hear it that way. Hmm. Just what are you waiting for? But Angie could more or less guess. The way the black suits unnaturally stuck their hands into their pockets clearly brought to mind the likelihood that they had handguns. This is a deserted island. There could, only, there could be no more convenient place to dispose of someone. I have absolutely no interest in the family matters of the Sumadera family. But if I die, all that wealth will go to them. Unlike me, they're probably very interested in and concerned about this matter. Of course, it seems that this massive amount of stock I own suddenly go to them. It'll be pretty bad for the Ushirumiya group as well. And they're apparently having a secret feud, fighting over me all by themselves. That's probably why President Okonogi gave me Amakusa as a guard. Having Amakusa away on the boat was a regrettable mistake. お<笑><笑> She grabbed me by the hair and forced my face up to hers, and then spat at me. My words might be filthy, but they're no worse than her spit. おばさんが私のことを話すといつも母さんの言葉ばかり。私そんなにも母さんに似てますか？ええ、似ているわ。その生意気そうな目つき、鼻も口もそっくりよ。自由奔放で無責任。歴史と伝統ある妻デラ家の重みなど何も考えず、自分勝手に家を飛び出したわ。おかげで、私の人生はずっとその尻拭い。When I was slapped on the cheek, my ear was smashed, and for an instant my head rang. My hair was pulled, spinning me around, and I fell to the ground. And in a flash, the ground was kicked, and I was struck with sand. ああ、本当にね、さんに似てきたわ。その目つき。そのどこか小馬鹿にした目つきよ。ああ、思い出すわ、色々と。哀れな人ね。きっと幼い頃から何かにつけて母さんに比較されて下げ済まされてきたんで
<笑>お任せを口の聞き方も知らねえクソガキが少し勉強させてやるぜ The black suit stashed up to me, violently grabbed me by the nape of the neck and dragged me down. I want to think about it, she was a pitiful person. To the outside world, women of the Sumadera family were trained to be in a position that supported and deterred men. But in actuality, strong leadership was required from them. So they could manage all the common people. The role demanded for them, really, that of a female commander, like the little reading of the word Okami. Managing the Sumadera family with all its traditions was not something that could be accomplished with just an ordinary level of dignity. It was an unimaginable, heavily responsibility. Normally, this would have been de demanded of Kyrie. Kyrie had undergone that harsh training, and Kasumi, as the younger sister, would have been able to take it easy. No, on the contrary, she had lived like a lazy, selfish, affluent princess, nearing at Kyrie, who had been given the heavy responsibility. However, Kyrie had suddenly been disinherited. She had refused the fiancé her parents had arranged, and had gotten pregnant by her lover, Ushimiya Rudolph. From the Sumadera's perspective, even though Ushimiya family had held a vast fortune, it was a low-level family that had already collapsed, and had become not even the legal wife, but a mistress to the second son of that family. Normally, a daughter of the main family would be shown no mercy for such dishonor. They would wrap her up in a mat, place a pole on the end, and throw her either into the specific ocean, or if the pole fell to the right, or right, or the Sea of Japan if it fell to the left. But Kyrie's punishment ended with disinheritance and unbelievably warm-hearted decision. After that, the Sumadera family began receiving favorable treatment from the section of the Ushimiya group. There must have been some kind of backroom deal. In other words, Kyrie openly left the Sumadera family under the pretense of gaining financial support from the Ushimiya family. Kasumi had watched it happen in shock. No, she, was, she even disparaged her dishonorable sister as a loser. But eventually, she realized that the heavy responsibilities Kyrie had borne would be passed on to her. And then, for the first time, she saw she'd been outwitted. <laughs> わたくしの人生はめちゃめちゃにされたわ。いいえ。一度殺されたと言ってもいい。あの日に私は一度殺されて地獄のような日々に突き落とされたのよ。それまで人生舐めてきたつけじゃない。口の減らねえ小娘だ
歴史が変わったりしてくれるわけ<笑>あんたさっき言ったわね私の人生はいつ始まるのっていくら恨んでも八つ当たりしても時間を巻き戻すことなんてできないじゃあ私は死ぬまでこうして死んでもなお姉さんを恨み続けて冗談じゃないわいつまで私は姉さんの亡霊に苛まれてなきゃならないのよだから考えたのよこれを成し遂げたら全ての恨みを忘れてやり直せるってねエンジェルは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たその若さで死にたくないでしょ母が迷惑をかけてすみませんでしたとか言ってみたくはならない誰が言うもんか<笑>フリュエンジェエンジェエンジェ様ダメこいつらを挑発しちゃダメですここは表向きだけでも調子を合わせて時間を稼ぐべきですくだらないプライドは燃えないゴミの火に出しとけってよく言うわねあ天草さんは天草さんが来てくれればきっとダメあいつの姿は見えないわエンジ様のバカどうして天草を置いてきたんです I didn't need Mammon to tell me. I was seriously regretting it already. I walked a long way. The force was very thick. I got no doubts that signs of activity here won't reach the boat. During the time it took for Kasumi to finish casually smoking a whole cigarette, I was continuously tormented by the black suits, as she told them to. The moment I gra grabbed at my head, my scalp was kicked by. By someone at a bad angle, and my head was filled with stars. The feeling of stars flickering in this gray, twisted world was one I remembered quick, clearly. My life was very similar to the one Sumadera Kasumi led. After all, as a successor to the Ushirimiya family, I was tormented constantly of various kinds of bullying under the guise of education and training. Yes, having the inside of my head filled with stars like this is a feeling I know well. When, be when being reprimanded by For some error in manners I seem to have made. Discussion will always turn to whether I was fitting to be the successor or not. On and on about the honor of the Ushirimiya family and how deep that was. By the time the conversation reached that point, I'd forget what mistake I was being blamed for in the first place. No, in fact, it was the same for Aunt Ava. After all, sometimes she'd ask herself, um, what was it again? But in the end, she wouldn't be able to remember and would say something like, <laughs> きっとエンジェが何か悪いことをしたのだろうならその悪いことが問題なのであって何をしたかなんて今さら思い出せなくても問題ない There'd be some ridiculous reasoning like that and then she'd keep on punishing me Yes And Ava's punishment wasn't something that would continue until I learned something or acknowledged my mistakes or apologized It would continue until Aunt Ava wanted to stop So this violence was a bit nostalgic, in a way that made me want to vomit. I opened my eyes, and look, there's Aunt Ava. Right next to Kasumi, who's smoking a cigarette. I can see Aunt Ava, almost as though there are two of them laughing together. When I think about it, even Aunt Ava's life might have been a thing worthy of my sympathy. The responsibility and pressure of being a member of the Ushirimiya family, which he often mentioned to me, It probably caused her great pain. After all, people can't make insults that they've never been the targets of themselves. It was probably the same for Aunt Rosa as well. 
As the youngest child of the Honorable Ushimiya family, she must have gone through many tough times. So it was j just like what Aunt Ava did to me. Just like what Suma Derikasumi is doing now. Aunt Rosa must have been the same. People tend to push the pain they're burned with onto other people. Otherwise, they can never escape that pain. So on and on, in eternity and perpetuity, the chain of pain and sadness does not end. That's why Marianne Chan's magic was so incredible. With her magic, she didn't have to bear the pain caused by Aunt Rosa. The pain probably was pushed onto her. Its weight probably tormented her. But what? But Onechan didn't carry that burden on her own shoulders. She purified it and filled her world with happiness. So I'm sure, if Maria Onechan had the children, in the had had children in the future, she probably wouldn't have pushed the pain that she had been forced onto her onto her children. That chain of pain and sadness that stretched back for who knows how long, which she couldn't understand and which she had inherited, which had been forced onto her. Maria Onechan cut it with her magic. Nani? And in the past, I would have snapped back. I would have met her hatred with hatred, so that they'd cancel each other out. No, nothing got cancelled out. That thing being forced onto me ended up being right there on my shoulders. Just like how even now, I hate her. So now that I know of magic, I'll look at the human called Ushumiya Eva again. What could I see through to? was a sad human form, no different than me, who had lost her family and who bore deep wounds in her heart. Unable to withstand the pain of that torn heart, she was doing nothing more than howl sadly, like a lion crying in pain, like a child. Even Ushumi and Eva was someone who I should have felt compassion for. She needed someone to understand the difficulties and pain of her childhood years. Even she, who was the only survivor of the Rokinjima crime, who was faced with the curiosity of all the society, who was publicly slandered and forced to have salt continuously flung into the wound, had needed someone's compassion. In order to let Ava forget to her pain and sadness at least a little, the Black Witch taught her magic, just like the times that it had possessed Aunt Rosa. It was the same magic of anger and sadness that Beatrice had taught Maria and Aichan when she was mourning for her torn apart friend, Sakutaro. That same magic, that witch, had probably dwelled inside Aunt Rosa too. So I mustn't ha hate Ushimiya Eva. Maybe I should have become her ally, as the only person in the world who could understand her. What did I say when I was young, when she returned to life all alone? Could it be that I acted as though she had killed my family and returned on her own? I can't believe it. Aunt Eva, who has never been more than an object of and a symptom for my hatred throughout my life, is turning into a human I can understand. So, I can see, right next to Aunt Ava, the form of the Black Witch who taught her the black magic. Aunt Ava was crying. It was only natural. Not only was no one willing to understand the pain of losing her husband and son at once, but her only relative had insulted her, saying, give me back my mom and dad. I can make the excuse that I was merciless because of my youth. However, to her at the time, it had probably been cruel enough to sever that last thread in her heart. In the following days, the talk shows and magazines publicly slandered her. The truth of her husband's business and character, even her beloved son, were negated. She no longer had anything left. She could do nothing but cry and howl, trying to forget the pain and sadness at least for a while. After all, she could only feel a tiny bit of release, and only during that time she howled. And so, the Black Witch taught her how to howl. The one I hated was the Black Witch. Black magic can probably release one from that pain for an instant. However, it never lifts that weight from a person's shoulders. On the contrary, it forces that weight into fur further victims, filling the world with hatred. If only Aunt Ava knew of white magic and had a true witch nearby. Shouldn't that have been me? Didn't I learn the magic to create happiness from Maria and Nechan? If I taught her with that magic, could we have built a future with a completely different relationship? Up until now, I hated Aunt Ava constantly, so I didn't notice the Black Witch beside her. Without love, it could not be seen. I didn't have any love for her, 
So now finally, I'll glare at the Black Witch, the one I truly should hate. ヘバオバさんじゃなかった。あんたよ。すごいじゃない。人間の分際で魔女の私が見えるなんてね。それでその目つきは何だと言いたいわけ？私が憎い？憎い？ええ、憎いわ。でも少し違う。ただ悲し
by turning deep sadness into evil alcohol and forcing it down, trying to forget it for just an instant. Nothing would change. The words Kasumi insulted me with were themselves sad. And I couldn't forgive the Black Witch who had imposed that sadness on Kasumi. I had gone limp, which seemed to have stopped the Black Suit's kicking competition. Or maybe the kickers were getting tired too. Kasumi didn't order them to stop, but at some point they did. However, I was reflected in Kasumi's eyes, and they burned me with flames of hatred. She had been tempted by the witch to do that in order to relieve, relieve her own pain. Sumadera Kasumi? Mada yo? Mada mada fumi ni jiri na sai? Anata no jinsei wa konna hon no chotto no ranbou de yuruseru no? Yurusenai wa yo. Mada kore kurai de wa yurusenai da kara. でしょ許せるわけがなもっとよもっと憎悪の炎を憎しみの炎でしかあなたは暖を取れないの怒りと悲しみの雪原で凍える。あなたを温められる炎は憎しみだけなのよ。ほら言って叫んで憎しみの方
アニメとかの「なんとかなんとか」って呪文を言いながら魔女に変身するやつああいうの好きなんでしょ痛々しいわ<笑> Cackling Kazumi opened to a random page and showed it to the black suits. The black suits looked too and guffawed. That sneer didn't wound me. I couldn't forgive it. After all, that sneer was ridiculing Maria on Echan. I don't hate Kazumi, but for forcing that unhealing anger and sadness on Kazumi, I cannot forgive the black witch. That black witch aid, aided Aunt Eva, Sumidera Kazumi, and Aunt Rosa, tormenting them for an eternity without letting their wounds be healed. I can't forgive her. Can't, I can't forgive the Black Witch. What? <laughs> The black suits were also rolling around, guffawing. Then, grinning, the black witch whispered something into Kasumi's ear. After glaring at me with a grin, Kasumi took that page. <gasps> Kasumi grabbed a hold of that page, tore it off, crumpled it, and threw it away. <laughs> it was one of the spells to summon happiness that Maria had made with Sakataro. Anyone who knows that making sugar water, coloring it, and leaving it by the window isn't going to make candy fall from the sky. But after repeating it every day, one time on her way home from school, she had found several pieces of candy scattered around. How happy that must have been that miracle that made Maria and Echan. Didn't she treasure that candy, eating it through the, her night alone with Sakataro to distract herself from her loneliness? That night, magic that Onechan had given birth to had been torn away and thrown away, and had disappeared. The whole miracle of happiness that magic had given birth to had been torn and thrown away. <laughs> With a brutal loud laugh, the Black Witch made Maria and Echan's spells get torn out one after another. Magic of happiness was sneered at, torn, and thrown away. Mammon cried and yelled, but she had no way of reaching to Kasumi. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
It wasn't Mammon's vessel or anything. But the tearing, denying toxin burned Mammon from the inside. Mammon's face twisted from that heat and pain. However, Mammon's expression was twisted with an unbearable anguish and humiliation. やめろ、黒木魔女。どうして君はそんなことをするんだよ。どうして魔法を幸せのために使えないんだよ。ああ、あんたも魔法のお友達ね。あんたも怪我してあげるわ。妻で抱かすみ。こいつのページも探しなさ
<笑>おかしいわあんた友達いないんでしょいっつも一人ぼっちでぬいぐるみがお友達なんでしょかわいそうな子<笑>大丈夫私にもわかるわよそういう生活わかるもの、ね、だから私が認めてあげるわあんた本当にかわいそうな子よ<笑><笑>はい。あんたとマリアの信じた本当にくだらない魔法の根源を引き裂いてあげるわよスマデラカスミそのページを読みなさい何このカラフルなページは何何大好きなママといつまでも仲良しでいられる魔法この魔法すんごく簡単じゃない私でもすぐできそうだわこんなに短い呪文なら私にだって覚えられちゃうやってみようかしら<笑>本当に簡単な呪文よねいいわよやってあげなさいみんなも吹き出しちゃうから Expressions that ridiculed it from the bottom of their hearts. The Black Witch and Kasumi tapered their mouths and they said it out loud. The Black Suit stared blankly, asking what the hell that was supposed to be. Then Kasumi answered, crack cackling. <laughs> The black suits imitated that moaning voice, making fun of it. Ooh, ooh. That was the incantation for the magic that would let her always be friends with her beloved mother. What is this? It was the day of a picnic when Maria and Aichan and Aunt Rosa were alone. It was written that this was one of the top five happiest days of her life. Onei-chan was singing a song she had just learned from her mama. Her mother had been delighted, but partway through, Maria forgot the lyrics. But since she saw her mother was so happy, she tried to sing until the very end, with ooh ooh ooh. Even though she had only pretended to know the lyrics, her mother had enjoyed it a lot. After that, ooh remained as part of an incantation to remember that day she'd spent with fun, in the fun and happiness of her mother. Of course, even though it seemed to be funny at first, Aunt Rosa eventually tired of hearing it. And eventually started scolding on Nechan when she said it. But to Nechan, it was a memory of a fun day she'd never forget. So, among the spells that Maria had created, it was the oldest and first. Kasumi stuck her fingernails into that page, too. Yamete, Yabukanaide, s 
そのページだけは許して<笑>ダメー With a shrill sound, a girl's world of happiness was erased. ね、あるわけないでしょ魔法はね怒りとね憎しみでできてるのよ幸せってのはね自分の背負わされた憎悪を人に全て押し付けた時にのみ与えられる解放感を言うのよあんたたちの言う幸せなんて絵本の中にしか出てこないまやかしなのよ As Kasumi laughed her head off, she slammed the grimoire against the ground and stepped on it. あんたたちなんて魔法の夢で現実から逃避しているだけのクソガキどもなのよ<音声>じゃあ魔法を私が見せることができたならお姉ちゃんの魔法を。信じてくれるのえ<笑>えええ信じるわよ魔法を使って見せることができたならねならやってみろよこのクソボケガキー Silently, slowly, I stood up. Sensations of this cramped world, such as the pain in the bo my body, felt, tr felt truly trifling. この子何を言い出すかと思えばあんたたち今の聞いた静かにへえ面白いじゃない。ハン魔法の毒素を理由にあんたたちはいつも奇跡の力を拒んできた白き魔女マリアの弟子見せてみなさいよ魔法を一体どれだけの人間がその奇跡を信じて裏切られていったか知っている<笑>誰もが信じ誰もが裏切られて絶望したそして本当の魔法は私たち黒き魔女の力でしか得られないことを知るのよ憎しみを誰かにぶつけるのはただの罪そんなのは魔法じゃないわ本当の魔法を私が見せてやる The Black Witch went slightly. However, Kasumi sneered at me even more. なら見せてごらんなさいよ。それで、あんたはどの魔法を見せてくれるの飴玉を振らせる魔法それとも、クッキーを増やす魔法<笑> The instant I opened my eyes, a tremendous wind arose. There was a flash behind me, and in an instant, seven pieces of high level furniture were gathered there. It was a power that far surpassed the magical strength I had in my prime. It was a power that matched even Maria, Nei chan, and Beatrice. 煉獄の七姉妹ここに
エンジ様あなたはかつて言ったわ私に魔力とその覚悟がないからあなたたちを刺激できなかったのだと私をいじめるクラスメートに仕返しがしたいなんてそんな安っぽい感情じゃない私はマリアお姉ちゃんのマリアージュ・ソルシエールの世界を守るために今こそ魔法の奇跡を見せることを命令するわ無,無理ですいくらなんでもこれだけ大勢の毒素の前では Seven sisters also remembered what happened in that classroom. If they could have obeyed Angie's order, they would have. However, surrounded by the toxin that runs thick in humans, they haven't been able to display the miracle of magic. And they remembered very well how deeply that hurt Angie. But Angie spoke very quietly. Nara, I know that you are a good person. Maria Sorciere was. 黒き魔女と戦うためでもあったその創立者の一人原初のその奇跡を見せその世界を守るために信じて魔法を魔女を今こそ奇跡を When Cosme gave an order to the black suits one of them took out a gun and pointed at Angie 魔法を見せてくれるんでしょなら見せてちょうだい魔法で火の玉でも稲妻でも打ち出してこの男を倒してみせなさいよチャンスは一度三つ数えるうちにやってお見せなさいできなければ覚悟してもらうわよ<笑>打ちなさいよなんだこのガキ<笑>行かれてやるぞ。By Angie's absolute trust. If she could comply, she would have. On that day as well. But because she had been unable to do anything, she had hurt Angie. <laughs> <laughs> the black suits jeered at her, but Enji simply concentrated her mind in silence. Bye bye, Enji chan. 天国で好きなだけ魔女ごっこをしてなさい撃て<笑>いいんですかおうち死ねエンジェやれるもんならやってみなさいよあんたの魔法を Black suit cocked the gun and sneering pulled the trigger The sound of gunfire rang out And the world stopped. A red spray scattered out, and chunks of flesh flew. What are you doing, Mamo? Lucifer lined up the bolt perfectly with a single swing and sliced it. And in the chest of the black suit who had apparently fired the gun was a hole as big as a fist. ね
Effa Leviathan's body was covered in blood with a cold smile on her face. Then slowly, the pitiful prey that she had brought down fell over. That's me and the rest were flustered. He certainly seemed to have fired his gun. However, it hadn't hit Anjay. And why was this person who fired hurt instead? これが本当の魔法だからよ。One of the black suits who had finally come to assistance took us a Those words were a requiem. The man's chest had already been pierced by Lucifer, who had become the stake of pride in an instant. With the sound of the second person falling, the black suits now realized for certain that their lives were in peril. <laughs> the instant one of the black suits doubled over in shock and turned his heels to escape this place. The stake of sloth. In his right eye, a hole as big as a walnut opened and his head split. Belfagora was spread with blood, and her face twisted demonically with the joy of being able to use her full power. <laughs> Black suits were flustered, pointing their guns in every direction, but they didn't understand what was happening. They knew that something terrifying was coming for them from somewhere, but they didn't know where. <laughs> But they couldn't see. Because they didn't believe in magic, they could not see. Just as the Black Witch said, Satan was standing boldly in front of the black suit. However, the black suit couldn't see her at all. <笑>魔法に対する異譜を忘れたる。愚かの代償を払うがいい。何を込め、何が起こってるの？あなたには見えない。愛がないから。ありえない。これだけの人間がいて、ハンマホの毒素をばらまいてるってのに、どうして魔
flesh and blood, Angie quietly asked one more question. そして、この怒りと悲しみで満ちた世界に幸せな世界への旅は開く鍵にできるの。あんたなんかにそれを否定させない。幸せな世界への鍵はみんなの手に握られてるんだ。それを奪うしかくは誰にもないんだ。それを
明るく穏やかなものにもできるかもしれないあなたが魔法を信じ心を入れ替えさえすればあなたに新しい世界への扉を開いてあげられるのそんなものはないわあいつの言う救いなんてどうせおとぎ話の中だけよあんたの人生はもはや死ぬまでトゲまみれその苦痛の叫びをあいつに聞かせてやりなさい失ったものは何も取り返せないのよそうでしょスマデラカスミーそうね何も取り返せないかもしれないでもきっと新しく何かを生み出すことができるだからかすみおばさんその銃を捨ててかすみおばさんに幸せな世界を教えてあげられるかもしれない<笑>私はねあんたの母親が逃げたせいであんたの母親のいい名付けと。身代わりに結婚させられたのよ将来を誓い合った男がいたのよ別れさせられたのよあんたの母親の代わりと継がされて話もろくにしたことがない男とちぎりを交わさせられた私の気持ちが分かるっての殺してやりたかったなのに姉さんは勝手に死んだわだからあんたを殺すのそうでなきゃ私のトゲまみれの人生は終わらないのよフォーカスミズアイズ、tears of passion d r i p down。So pitiful。This person's tears were so clear and beautiful。But for that very reason, she hadn't been able to fully withstand her sad pain。And had been given no choice but to listen to the Black Witch's temptation。かわいそうに。ならばせめてあなたを。あなたの魂を永遠に解放し塩素の鎖から解き放ってあげるのそれが今の私にできる唯一の施しかもしれない死ねー後ろ見合うんじさようならかすみおばさん静かな世界でゆっくりと休んで。I no longer feel any anger or hatred for you. I just wanted to let your soul rest in peace. Kasumi's handgun spat fire. Slowly, that bullet continued through a world frozen to the utmost limit, aiming for Angie's forehead. Mamo. Ha! Ha! Goyoku no Mamo! Kokoni! Arigato. Huh? Anata tachi to Sakutaro ni deaeta kara. 私は全てを理解できたエンジェ作太郎は後ろを向いていなさいマモその女を解放してあげてそしてマリアージュ・ソルシエルの命を守れははい覚悟せよスマデラカスミ Even though the world was frozen the stake of greed flashed like lightning and had already gotten behind カスミ貴様に多少の徳があるならば再び煉獄の山で相まみえようぞ死ねー The upper half of Sumadera Kasumi's head was smashed. Her cage of flesh was shattered, and she was finally released. あとは。アン黒き魔女今となってはあなたにエヴァおばさんの面影を見ていることさえ彼女に申し訳なく思うわ<笑>私の姿がいまだに後宮エヴァに見えているならそれはあんたの中でいまだに私が許せてないということだわ分かっているのよエンジェ。あんただってトゲまみれの人生から解放されたくて仕方がないのなら面白いことを思いついたわ私もあんたに魔法を見せてあげる
あんたを殺すのは私じゃないわ With the worst smile of smiles on her face, the black witch changed her form into something like black mist. Or else a vast swarm of black flying insects would begin to swirl around me. <laughs> Then that black mist began to gather bit by bit, shaping itself into the form of a human. What's the matter? It's a little bit of a thought. It's a little bit of a thought. When the blackness cleared, over there was Aunt Ava's form, as she had been during her life. Her hands were holding a gun. Eva Oba s a n was dead. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
book. Behind Ava's back, Mammoth stood. She had already penetrated the target I had given her, which was the gun. <laughs> then time melted. The fragments of the gun burst and exploding gunpowder burned in her face. Letting out a shrill scream, she covered her face and rolled around. It was pitiable. I signaled to Mammon, so that Aunt Eva would be freed quickly from the pain of her burnt face as she rides around. Mammon had understood. This would be the final job I'd give her. Mammon quietly walked up to me. Then she looked down at Ava. <laughs> then, the, light sa light, the sound of her forehead being bored ran into rang out. The battle of gunpowder, smoke, and fury of white and black magic ended. I get the feeling it was a long, truly long journey, and the world slowly sank into darkness.